Hi, it's Karen here from projectmanagementsuccess.net and I'm here to give you a video tutorial all about mind mapping for project managers. Now the reason I wanted to present mind mapping to you is I think that it's an awesome tool, um, an awesome way to get ideas down and structure those ideas in a quick manner and to it's, it's such a versatile tool that you can do all sorts of things in project management with it from the planning phase to the tracking and managing phase to reporting phases and um, it's just a great all-round tool so I'm going to show you a few ways that I use it in my workplace now what I'm going to do is firstly I'll just introduce you to the tools that are available there's a tool here called XMind which is a free uh, mind mapping tool software that's available on the internet on the internet and um, a great tool fantastic can't believe that people make software this good for free um, so have a look at that one the other one that a lot of people use is called FreeMind um, and that does a, a similar sort of thing now the one I use is actually a proprietary piece of software called Mind Manager uh, Mindjet Mind Manager and I've got it like version 8 of this I think version 9 is the current version but it's around sort of that $350 mark um, it's a great piece of software though uh, and I think it's superior to the free products though they are a fantastic place to start if you want to get started with no money down um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I would use Mind Manager for so I'm going to pull that up there when you open Mind Manager this is what it looks like here and there's a series of tutorials and quick start guides and things that you can access to help you out which is really helpful if you want to get get started quickly um, what we'll do is I'll just show you the basics to start out with if I start a new map I want you, this is how you start out with a new central topic now there are a couple of ways to get ideas down on paper now you could be using this for example I use this sometimes if I'm in a meeting to take notes because it's a really quick way to get things down and then you can export it to Word and you've suddenly got you know meeting notes and actions and things you know that you created right then and there I can be exporting and emailing those to the people in the meeting before the meetings even over so that's one way um, one of the main things I use and that's what I was going to show you now is if I'm setting up and starting a project one of the first things I need to do is determine what is this project delivering so what are the project products or the project deliverables depending on what methodology and terminology you want to use so let's pretend I've got a new project project and I'm gonna the first thing I'll think about is I'll, I'll obviously write down we'll call it the um, banana software project I work in software development so software is sort of the main projects that I'm involved in and uh, so the first thing I would do is I'd probably start to think about well, what are the um the sort of phases that we usually do for projects and all of our projects tend to pretty much do the same sort of thing so I can pretty easily um, get down on paper what our main uh, project phases would be and then that helps me to actually look at each phase and go what would be in those now obviously projects are different um, but I know I'm just sort of giving you a, a quick example and you would need to think about the project that you're actually uh, working on and what the relevant things are for that so if I'll tidy that up there so now suddenly I've got a little structure of my project and, and the phase the main phase of the project now I'd be looking at that and going okay um, what are the deliverables in each stage of this project so this project is going to be run using Prince 2 methodology for example so I'm going to have a project initiation document in my startup phase um, I'm going to have a workshop to determine requirements with my customers I'm going to develop a requirements document um, and those are going to occur in my analysis and design phase see I tend to structure um, go through and do high level and then the next level down and I structure this as I'm going now other people might want to do it differently so a really cool way to do it is to go brainstorming and this is the sort of thing where if people don't want to just structure things straight away they just want to get ideas down quickly so I might go okay I'm just gonna bang a whole bunch of ideas down and then I'll worry about where to put them later so let's go I'm gonna have a, a UI demo I'm gonna have a software demo midway during my development I'm gonna have an end development demo these are just common things that we do um, we're gonna have a system testing phase we're gonna have a UAT release we're gonna have um, software approval we're gonna have an SLA and a test plan and so a user manual um, a final report at the end of the project and we might have a deployment guide so they're just some examples so that's a really quick way to brainstorming is a really quick way to get things out and then I can just go okay well uh, the final report will go over here in this phase um, those things there are all 
of documentation, so they'll go over there. Um, those things are all in my dev phase, and those things are all in my QA phase. So very quickly, I've now got an outline of a project and the major project deliverables. So for me, that's the key part when I'm first looking at a project and what is this project about. Now, if you then want to say, use that information to start creating an actual project plan with um, resources and all sorts of things, you can do that in Mind Manager. Um, you can actually go and you know click on an item and you can go show me the task info. And you can actually set up start dates, end dates, um, how complete it is, who's on it, and things like that. Now, I I probably don't use this that much, those the task info stuff, but it is great stuff, and it's a really simple way to manage a project. Um, if you're not, you know, I'm a big sort of Microsoft project user, so what I would do at this point is I'd actually export it to project. So let's do the banana project there and export that banana. And it'll ask me what, what I want to do, and I can you know change some settings there. I'll let it just do the default for the minute, and it's going and creating me a Microsoft Project document. So there it is, and it maintains the hierarchy that you've put in. So now I can actually go and elaborate on this and, and um, fill in all my details and bits and pieces. So that's one really cool um, usage. And, and that's generally how I will start out on my planning phase of a project there. So let's get rid of that come back here now that that's um, setting up a project at the start sort of now if I want to let's say create some documentation around that and I need to get into more details about what these deliverables are and things like that I can actually go and put information in against each of these so in the notes area I can go and add okay the SRS doc you know I can type some stuff in there what I tend to do and I'll flick over and show you an example I've got here here's a sample of another project and get rid of that task info pane and show the notes pane. The software requirement specification, as an example, if I click on that, I've got a table here, and that's my product description. In Prince2, they call it a product description. It's a, sort of what an, an outline of your, what your deliverable is and um, what format it's in and who's going to you know, QA it and all that sort of stuff. So I will go through and actually put these product descriptions in for each of these items. And then what I can do is export the whole thing into a Word document. So if I wanted to do that, let's just um, show that as an example. If I cut and paste this whole thing over, we'll put it into our banana. Um, we'll pretend it's over there. Let's pretend that I've filled these in for a number of them. And now I'm going to export that. Oops. Save that banana software project. I'm going to export that to Word, and it'll give me some options. And okay, I want the numbering scheme. Yes, please export the. I don't have any icon markers, but so, but I wouldn't probably do that anyway. Export the topic notes. Yes, because they're our notes that we put over there. Uh, give me the overview map at the start. Yes, please. Insert a table of contents. I can do that, um, and you can actually even set up templates of how you can put your company logo and things like that you can put your headings and all sorts of stuff um, so it's pretty cool stuff so if I export that now it's going to create a word document for me and put all that information in it once it's complete I can open it up and what you see here here's my banana software project here's an overview here's my and it, sometimes it needs a little bit of formatting but if you work on the templates um, then then it wouldn't um, there's my table of contents and here's here's the start of my information so here's my uh, product descriptions there for each of them that's a really quick way to generate documentation so that's pretty awesome so that that's how I use it in setting up on starting out a project now I wanted to just show you how I would then go on to use this throughout the project as a reporting tracking and management tool so I'm going to flip over to my gems SRS project my other sample and what I would do now, I'm just going to close him off, 
You can see I've got a whole bunch of markers and icons in here. I love these icons and so do, um, so do people that you're reporting to because a visual representation of a project like this is so much more palatable, particularly by you know executive management who don't read reports. Um, they will look at a picture and the picture, you know, I like a picture. So here's all my little icons. What I've done is I've put in an icon about the status of the entire project. Little flags are telling me that whether the phase is underway or hasn't commenced yet. Um, and I've got a key, I put a key over here so that people can understand. And then these are my deliverables and the status of those deliverables. And as those deliverables are um, completed, you can even attach them. So here's the software requirement spec. It's got a little tick to say it's done. It's got a little tick to say that it's approved. And then I can actually have a look at, that's the note about it, which was my product description that we put over there. So I'll click back on that. So I can view my product description and then I can even view and launch the actual document right here um, from, from the interface. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I set this up and then in every progress report, I have an image, which is this, this image pretty much. And you can export to image there or you can just, you know, do a screenshot or whatever. And I use that in my progress reports and it's the most read part of the progress report, hands down. Um, it's also really good if you need to present to people. Um, you can run this whole thing as a slideshow or, or run it as a, um, like a, um, you know, a presentation. So if I wanted to use this in a presentation, for example, I can go into here, presentation mode, and um, I can have that up on the screen and be talking people through the stages of a project and, and the deliverables that they're expecting or be talking them through the progress of where we're at and I've done that many a time with project boards um, so I just you know can hit my little next button and go okay we're, we're up to here with that and then in this phase here we've seen this and this and blah 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 and I can launch that um, and I can walk them through and it's, that's quite a cool, cool tool so I'll just bring us back and, that, and as you can see, that's expanded everything because I was in presentation mode. If you want to change the view, you can go show me the level of detail, show me all levels. Um, oops, all levels, there we go. And that's how I would use that as a tracking and management tool. So that's what I wanted to introduce you to today. There's so, so much more that you can do with this. Um, and, and you'll find, you know, heaps of things that you can do that, you know, just meeting notes and um, just getting concepts on paper and presenting them in really cool ways to people. Um, it's such a versatile product. And just if you look at the export facilities, you can export it to such a wide range of, of things. It's, it's so reusable and um, just a great way to present. So I hope you found that useful. And I hope that you can try and implement some mind mapping uh, tools into your own project management. Uh, as I said before, I'll just reiterate, Mind Manager is the proprietary product that I was looking at. There's FreeMind or XMind that are both free tools available. Um, this has been Karen from projectmanagementsuccess.net. Come and visit us at www.projectmanagementsuccess.net and um, share your thoughts and good luck with your project management.